In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build something really, really cool with Thrive Architect. And simple too, but still cool though. Now, it's about the highlight box that we use in our blog posts. Now, you're probably familiar with it, and if you're not, you're probably not reading our blog. And you should read our blog because it's awesome. Now, nevertheless, we recently received a comment about this from one of our members, Karen, and she basically said, you know, what's the deal with this highlight box? Are we ever gonna get it? Or is it just for you guys, for internal use only? And I said that, yes, it is actually really easy to build because it's 100% made with Thrive Architect. It is essentially a fancy content box. Right, so I'm gonna show you how you can build it and how you can use it on your blog posts. So here we are on a dummy blog post and let's basically jump right in, right? We're just gonna display it some, somewhere in the middle, right? Because you want to, to gain your visitor's attention after he started reading. You know, he probably got bored and you wanna gain his attention again with one of these highlight boxes, okay? so. What we're gonna do is we are going to use a content box. I'm gonna place it somewhere here inside. And uh, yeah, we're gonna increase the minimum height a bit because inside this content box, we will display two other content boxes because uh, the original highlight box is made out of two sections. Okay, let's take a look at the original one. As you can see, we have this section here with this color and this other section with this other color, okay? So in this content box, we are gonna drag two more content boxes, okay? So place one and place another one just below the uh, content box inside the big content box, okay? Now, the next step is to uh, remove this uh, space between the two inner content boxes, okay? So, we'll select the first one and, you know, we have some space here. If we go to layout and position, we have some positive bottom margin. So, we'll remove that and we'll go to about uh, negative 20 points of bottom margin, okay? Now, these two, uh, we, we removed the space, okay? So we have these two. And now the next step is to remove this space at the top, okay? So click on the top inner content box and we'll remove the top margin, okay? And now the inner content box touches the top of the big content box. Does this make sense? Inner top margin content box. Bear with me here because this is really cool, okay? so. To, uh, to remove the bottom, bottom space as well, we will click on the bottom inner content box and we'll remove the margin as well, okay? And we'll, we can also decrease the minimum height. Stop reminding me for this. Okay, so we have these two content boxes. What's next? Well, we need the colors, okay? Now, uh, we can use... Um, uh, Google, uh, how, how, how is this called? Google Chrome extension, right? And we can use it in order to uh, find out what color code a certain color has, okay? So in Google Chrome, it is basically called page color picker, okay? So we'll select it and, you know, hover over this color and simply click it and the color is copied to our, uh, to our clipboard, okay? So, you can paste in the color here on the background style, as simple as that. And then, you know, we'll find out what the other color is. So we'll hover over this content box, then simply paste in the color for this other content box as well. And we'll apply it on the big content box as well, the same color, okay? Now, what's the next step? Well, the next step is basically to add this icon, okay? And you can add whatever icon you want. You can simply go on the editor and drag in the icon element and place it in the top content box, okay? And let's use, I don't know, a rocket icon. Now, we're gonna choose this one, the light 
version of the font awesome icon and we don't need this icon to be this big let's say 50 okay what's the next step the next step is to go to borders and corners because we want it to be round okay now to do this we'll go in the uh, corners area and we'll simply increase uh, the uh, the value and as you can see the outcome is that the icon you know cuts off a bit there the rocket is no longer a functional rocket so what do we do about this well we go to layout and position we select this lock icon and we'll modify the paddings so this lock icon means that all of the paddings will be modified okay so we'll add a 20 value padding and as you can see the rocket is functional again okay now we're basically done you know we can simply uh, uh move the icon to the top and place it how this one is placed as well so to do this again very simple you can remove the top margin only we have got a problem because it doesn't look quite similar well that's because we need to add a background color and we will add the same color that this content box has and to avoid copying the color we're going to save it as a global color okay so we'll go on the icon go to background style and simply apply the global color and as you can see really simple all our problems were fixed okay so the icon is done now what's the next step to add the text basically on this first background section okay so go on the editor simply drag in the text element and place it below the icon now we'll center align the text and in the case of the content box found on our blog this is an h4 heading okay so we'll go on this indicator here click on h4 center align it and as you can see this is a big uh, this is a bit uh, bolder than this original text so we'll go ahead and change it so we'll go to main options click on uh, the font option here go to google fonts and this is an open sans you know and the secret is to select regular 300 okay as you can see we have the exact same font now we have to figure out how we can position this text so first of all we need to remove this padding as you can see because there's a lot of space inside the uh the text element the text container okay so go to layout and position and simply remove all paddings and now we'll deselect the lock icon very important and you know we'll simply uh, add some negative top margin and probably increase the bottom margin as well two could be something like this probably a bit more let's say or we'll add here some more 20 could be something like this right it looks it looks really good and here you know you can add whatever uh, text you want whatever text you think that your reader might be uh, interested in and you know what text might uh, you know gain his attention or his curiosity okay so for this example you know in order to avoid uh, displaying the enter your text here text we'll paste this uh, uh, remember the original fancy dividers text from the uh, article about fancy dividers and uh, the text needs to be a little larger 24 and you know this is the exact size that we use for the for the heading on this box on our blog okay now let's add some text in the bottom content box so we'll drag in some text place it inside and we will simply increase the size of the text a bit and we don't want it to be placed uh, right there at the side okay so we want it to dis to it to be displayed a little bit uh, inwards okay so we'll click on layout and position we'll click on the the lock uh, icon and then you know we can simply go ahead and give it a let's say 
25 margin and you know because we select the lock icon the uh, the values will be applied to all margins and as you can see the text is now displayed in words and you know we can copy the text we see here and you know simply paste it in here and there you go almost done we need to add the border color as well for this uh, for this content box and in this case we will simply uh, click on the big content box so use the breadcrumbs go to borders and corners and here instead of black select the global color that we have uh, that we have assigned and remember that this is actually the color of the top content box okay so apply this you know one uh, pixel uh, value and basically there you go the highlight box is finished now in order to be able to use this on a regular basis without having to recreate it all over again you can simply select the big content box again and then you can go ahead and save it by clicking on this tiny little icon and you know you can you can save it as a template you know give it a name highlight box save it simple as that and then you know whenever you want to use it on your articles you can simply use the templates and symbols element and you know and simply select your highlight box and there you go you only have to change the text inside the content box and probably the icon you know just select it and just uh, change the icon to a different one and there you go basically this is how you can build the famous highlight box from our blog you know not too complicated at all and uh yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this uh tutorial on how to build this and let me know if you would like to uh see some other cool builds let me see if you i don't know have any ideas of what would you like to see me build with thrive architect now i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did so give it a like and uh, i hope you subscribe to our channel as well and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video